Good morning and welcome to Sunnyside News where we bring you only the most positive and interesting information from the heart of Florida right here in Polk County. Sunnyside News is sponsored by Nature's Place, home of the Key Network and Speech Therapy Services. Today is Friday, March 3rd, 2017. I would like to welcome everyone to today's program and start out by telling you about Space 10. Now this is an idea lab from IKEA that explores innovative and groundbreaking solutions for the future. They have come up with the Grow Room, which is a design for people to grow their own food in a sustainable, natural way, allowing for food to be grown practically anywhere in a fraction of the space. Now this design is actually very easy to build, IKEA is saying, and the designs are actually downloadable for free. Can you believe that? So check it out, look into it, and see what you can do. Another good news item I would like to share with you today is actually from Istanbul, Turkey, where a four-month-old puppy had fallen down a 230-foot well. Now, rescue workers and firefighters worked for 10 days to rescue the little canine, but it was actually a group of high school students in a robotics class that was able to rescue the little pup when they constructed a robotic arm that was put into the well. The pup, who received veterinarian care immediately after his rescue, has subsequently been adopted by the local fire department where he is being trained as a rescue dog. What a happy ending to that story, huh? This next good news item comes to you from Indiana, where Steve Kitchen is a former advertising executive and he's also a quadriplegic. Now he wanted to drive something a little more flashy than a modified minivan, so he designed a lift device in his garage that will lift his wheelchair and slide him into the cab of a truck. Now also what started as just an idea and making a prototype for himself has actually turned into a small business when the idea got around and orders came flooding in. Good luck to you, Steve Kitchen. I bet you'll do really, really well. Now, this next good news item comes to you from California where Tom McFadden is a Stanford graduate, a Fulbright scholar, and he's also a science teacher. Now, he has found a unique way to combine the rap music that he grew up listening to and loving and combining it with teaching, resulting in a very unique but highly effective way to teach his students. He is creating rap videos with a scientific spin. Now, using grants that McFadden was able to secure, five videos were produced so far by middle schoolers in the San Francisco area. Students are having fun, they're learning, they're proud of what they've done, McFadden has said. Hats off to you and way to go. You know, as I mentioned, today is March 3rd, the beginning of March. Where is the year going? But I want to let you know that March is National Reading Month. It's National Nutrition Month. Of course, it's Irish American Heritage Month. It's Women's History Month. And it's also Youth Art Month. So just keep that in mind. You know, I would like to tell you again about the Hotel Tea Room and Flower Corner right here in Davenport. It is in the historic district where you can get home-cooked meals, special diet meals prepared just for you in a classic Victorian style where every customer is treated individually and like family. And it is also available for special events designed specifically for you. Now, you can get more information about the Hotel Tea Room and Flower Corner by calling 863-421-0827. Well, we're moving into the event portion of today's program. I would like to tell you what's going on here in the Ridge area. On March 4th and 5th, at, you can go to the Eagle Lake Barbecue Festival. This is from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is completely free. There will be a kids area, live music, and of course, food. Now, you can get further information on this one by calling 863-412-2839. Also happening this weekend on the 4th and 5th of March is the Bloomin' Art Festival. This is in downtown Bartow. It will be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can see antique cars, there will be paintings, artists with display tents will be there, there will be a children's tent, and of course much, much more. You can get further information on this event by calling 863-534-1877. 
Also happening on March 4th is right here in Davenport. It's the original Highwaymen Art Festival. This is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This art show is open to the public and this is really such a historic as well as artistic event where you can purchase artwork that definitely has meaning. You can get further information on this by calling 863-419-3300. As usual, I would like to wrap up today's program with a nice quote for you, which goes, When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one that has been opened for us. And that was said back in the day by Helen Keller. So that is our program for today. Thank you so much for joining me this first Friday in March of 2017. Go out there, have a great weekend, be safe, and as always, Keep your sunny side up. Bye for now.